How to create an affiliate marketing website in WordPress. In this video, we're going to create and set up a great looking website for affiliate marketing on WordPress. So we're going to be discussing all of its nitty gritty details. So just make sure to watch this video till the end. So basically, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Now, to obviously get into the WordPress website, all you're going to do is you're going to write website worldmedia.com slash WordPress. Okay, you're just going to write that and you're going to enter it. And once you do that, as you can see, you're going to come straight into the WordPress website. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to access this and uh, please do make sure to check out the link in the description. Now, before getting into, you know, the whole uh, WordPress thing, uh, you are going to need to know that um, for, you know, WordPress uh, website and stuff like that, you're going to need to do proper WordPress hosting and to do WordPress hosting, you're going to need to have a good domain. OK, now where can one find a good domain? Now, a good domain can be found from various places. You know, you can uh, use GoDaddy, uh, you can use Bluehost, and you know, all these different types of people, okay? Different types of companies, different types of things, okay? There's tons and tons of things that you can get behind. But in our case, what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be using, basically, is uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, use the free domain that WordPress provides us, okay? Now, once WordPress provides us, you know, a uh, proper domain, you could say a proper paid domain, like do know this, that uh, once you want to create a, you could say uh, affiliate marketing website on WordPress, uh, you are going to need a proper domain. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and get into the designing stuff. So to basically get yourself started, we're going to come here and click on uh, where it says get started. I'm going to click on that. And once you click on get started, it's going to bring you over here. OK, so let's get started. First, create your WordPress.com account. OK, now, how are you going to do that? It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. So just keep on following me, follow all my steps. And if you, you know, follow me properly, then I guarantee you that by the end, we're going to, you know, work through this together and we're going to make a great website together. So uh, in my case, I'm going to be using a temp mail for my email. OK, a temp mail is a temporarily disposable email that, you know, if you use once, you can throw it away later on. It's totally dependent on you. Now, I'm using this obviously for the video purposes, but uh, assuming that you're watching this video to, you know, learn it for the long run, uh, I recommend that you use your proper Gmail because we don't want to lose your, you know, precious account for WordPress. So you can use your Gmail. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. OK, I'm going to uh, paste that here. Now we're going to go ahead and choose a username. OK, now in some cases, uh, as you can see, it says you cannot use that email address to sign up. There are problems with them blocking some emails from WordPress. OK, so you can just go ahead and choose a brand new email from Tempmill. Tempmill can give you a variety of emails. OK, you can get tons and tons of them. So you can just choose another one. Just click on delete. And what it's going to do is it's going to delete the previous address, give you a new one. Just go ahead and add a new address. And uh, again, if that one doesn't work, you can always go ahead and uh, sign up with a Gmail account for yourself. OK, now I'm just going to use a random Gmail account of mine. So uh, let's go with like, you know, any random account. I'm going to go with this one. And once you've chosen a proper Gmail account for yourself, what it's going to do is it's going to basically take you to the whole, you know, main signer process and everything. So we're going to ask it to do that for us. OK, so again, uh, go ahead. There we are. Now, once it, you know, brings you to the whole signer process and everything again, you're going to make sure. Wait a second. I'm going to continue with Google once again. I backed out. There we go. So now once you choose your account, uh, make sure that uh, once you're, you know, into the interface, here they are. Now here, as I told you, they're going to, first of all, ask you to, you know, choose a domain and everything. So once it's asking you to choose a domain, make sure to choose the uh, free domain for yourself, because choosing a free domain will allow you to actually, you know, spread the website around. Tell people about your website, basically, you know, tell people that, hey, this is my website. I use this to do affiliate marketing and it's, you know, great stuff. So please do make sure to check it out. Now, uh, we're going to go and click on create your first site. So here we are. Choose a domain. Now, get a free one year domain registration without any paid annual plan. OK, and already own a domain. Use a domain. OK, so let's say if you're using a Bluehost domain or a GoDaddy domain or a hosting or domain, you can just click on use a domain I own and then just add your domain and make sure you're going to verify it. You're going to make sure it's actually yours. 
And, you know, once you've done that, uh, from there on out, you're going to be good to go. Okay, you're going to get straight into the workspace. But uh, obviously, you can choose your domain later on if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and choose it right now. So obviously, we have affiliation marketing. So I'm just going to call it, let's call it John's Affiliate. I'm just going to call it that. And uh, once you call it that, obviously, according to this, it's going to give you all these things. So as you can see, these are paid links. We don't want to go with this. We're going to go with the free one for now. You can go with the paid one if you want to, but I'm going to go with the free one. Uh, obviously, you can see it's free for the first year. I'm going to go with the free one, though. The free one isn't the most attractive. Like, it, it looks pretty weird with, you know, a WordPress.com uh, link beside it. But, hey, that's what you get for free. Come on. So, it's a free domain. It's a free link. And it's pretty good for a free business. Now, choose your flavor of WordPress, okay? Now, there's one two three four five six six different pricings and plans okay now first of all there's this three free personal and premium these are only for you know making a normal page okay a normal page could be you know a blog an article page uh you know just a normal page but if you want a page where you want to process payments you get paid pay other people you know all that stuff like just a page where you're going to do e-commerce so in that case, what you're going to do is you're going to use these three business, commerce and enterprise. Now, enterprise is obviously for like the big company. So we're not going to be touching this. You know, as you can see, Slack, Disney, CNN, Facebook, all these people use um, enterprise. So we're not going to budge that. We're either going to jump around in business or WooCommerce. Now, WooCommerce is basically, again, a very popular e-commerce plan that a lot of people use. And obviously, we're going to be doing affiliate marketing. And in affiliate marketing, you do get commission and payment. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I would recommend WooCommerce. But right now, we're going to go and start for free just to, you know, give you an outlook on how everything actually works in WordPress. So as you can see, it starts making our cookies and stuff. So I'm just going to skip that bit and uh, we're going to come here. So what are your goals? Select all that apply. So obviously you're going to go ahead and choose your goals. So your first goal could be writing and uh, publish. Okay. So uh, write and publish, sell online, promote myself. So obviously in affiliation, promoting and selling online. These are the two main features when it comes to, you know, affiliation. So I'm just going to keep that in and I'm going to click on continue. Now you can always skip this and go to the dashboard and do all of this later, but I recommend doing this right now. So what's your website about? Obviously just go ahead and write uh, affiliation over here. So affiliate programs, just go with that and click on continue site title. Now the store name, you can keep this uh, right now. Okay. But it's not very important uh why you ask it's it's not very important because like you can always change it later on you can go to the settings of your dashboard in your wordpress and you can change it later on if you want to so i'm just going to keep it you know some random gibberish right now again tagline is also optional change it later so i'm going to just you know keep random gibberish and go on continue so pick a design one of these homepage options could be great to start with now obviously i'm not going to go with any design for now and i'm going to skip it now, once you skip it, you're going to basically come here. Now, this is your main dashboard. OK, this is your main WordPress dashboard, and this is where you're going to basically be doing all the magic. OK, this is where you're going to be doing all the designing, managing, um, you could say automation, uh, marketing and all that stuff. So all that's going to be happening over here. So, you know, just stay tuned and keep on watching to actually learn a thing or few now. Basically, once you're, you know, done with the basics, you're like created everything. Now, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go ahead and go to appearance. Now, once you're in appearance, you're going to come to themes. And once you're in themes, obviously over here, you're going to get tons and tons of themes. Now, these themes are basically, you could say, best for website builders, for affiliation, for e-commerce and stuff. In my opinion, the best theme that works with, you know, your e-commerce and um, affiliation is Neve. Okay, Neve, Neve, whatever you want to pronounce it. So you're going to click on this. And once you click on this, as you can see, you have a proper demo for this. So Neve, Neve is a super fast, easily customized, multi-purpose theme. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So now you can open this theme's live demo. And obviously, as you can see, you can only get this theme if you have the business plan. So 
The business plan is 300 per year and you can go ahead and access it if you want this thing. You can also download it for later. So, you know, you can download this theme if you want to. But if you just want to go with the free themes, so all you're going to do is just click on free. And here, as you can see, you can get free plans. So in this case, uh, let's go with I'm going to go with Illustrator, OK, because obviously it's a free design and uh, I'd, you know, rather keep this. So to activate this, just go and click on activate this design and you're going to click on activate and customize this design. Now, once you click on customize, basically, it's going to load in the customizer. The customizer is basically obviously what you're going to use to design your website. OK, now. Again, the customizer is uh, pretty helpful to you because it's a basic drag and drop editor and it does great wonders for you. Now, if I were to, you know, go and view my site, I'm going to click on view site and here we are. Now, this is my site right now. Pretty basic stuff. Not a lot going on. So, yeah. Now, once we've discussed about that, you're going to come back to your dashboard. And once you come back to your dashboard, you're going to go in appearance and you're going to click on customize. Now, once you're going to click on customize, basically, you're going to be headed over to this section over here. So hello world. And you have all of this going on as so. So to basically, first of all, mess around with the basics, we're going to go ahead on, uh, you know, you have this stuff over here. Uh, you can go and first of all, the header section. OK, so you're going to come to header. And once you come in header, as you can see, you have all of this going on. OK, again. So what you're going to do, go to appearance, customize. And once you come in customize, you're going to be into, you know, your whole customization section of your theme or design that you chose. And once you're here again, wait, let me just go and customize back again. Appearance, customize. There we are. Now, once you're in customize, obviously, we're going to go in. Uh, first of all, the first and the most important thing to edit it is your header so here is our website header on the top now once you go on the website header we're going to click on that and here we are so first of all you're going to add a logo for your website okay now a logo can be you know like the suggested image dimension uh, or 400 by 180 pixels so first of all we're going to go ahead and create a good logo for our website okay now you can choose uh, many programs to create a logo for yourself in this case, I'd recommend that you just use canva.com because canva.com just, you know, works wonders and creates great logos for you. Now, once you are in canva.com, let's go ahead and discuss how you're going to, you know, access the whole uh, thing and create a logo. So once you're here, you're going to come to the search bar and you're going to write logo. OK, and once you've written logo, you're going to come here and you're going to see the dimensions. If the dimensions don't match what they want you can go and uh, create custom dimensions so click on create design and custom size you can go 400 by 180 and if you go here yeah 400 by 180 pixels you're going to click on create new design now once you click on create new design as you can see um you're going to start you know customizing your logo as so now first of all you're going to give it a good solid color background okay now, solid color background is pretty necessary because that basically gives you a solid theme for your page. OK, now, obviously, we're in affiliation, so we're not going to go very colorful. We're going to, you know, keep it very professional. Let's go with this. You know, this is uh, a light gray vibe or you can also go with like the templates they've already offered you. Now, obviously, I'm going to go with uh, something that I want to create myself. So obviously, once you've done this. Uh, let's go ahead and elements and once we're in elements, obviously over here, you're going to start adding things. So obviously I'm going to, first of all, add some texture. So you're going to write texture and once you write texture, let's go here. Look at that. You can bring texture along the whole design of, um, this page. So as you can see, you have texture on the whole design. Obviously, it's a bit overpowering, so you can uh, mess around with its opacity. And there you go. And you can always copy it, paste it on top of it and, you know, give it more texture, copy it, paste it on top of it, give it more texture. So you get the point. And once you know the textures in, make sure that there's no blank spaces in the page. And once the texture is into the design from here on out, you're you can add borders for your logo. OK, so I'm going to go and add borders 
there you go there's a whole border and i think like preferably go with a border that um is you know easily adjustable okay so in that case you can also write a rectangle or something like that and as you can see you have a rectangle now you're probably wondering we don't want to fill the picture in we want a border now please do keep on watching because it's pretty easy to you know create this thing into a border if you want to so just make sure the dimensions are correctly placed uh so there we go and once the dimensions are placed uh you're gonna make sure that you're gonna come here choose lines for your border choose that you can also choose if you want to round the corners as uh, so and once you're done with that wait a second let me just make the lines a bit more dense uh, so yeah now from here on out go on opacity mess with the opacity as uh, so make sure the the color is like you know yeah there we go so there's no color and then just increase the opacity and there you go you just added borders for yourself now you can adjust these borders accordingly with you know whatever dimensions you want to go with so i'm just going to keep them you know like this and there we go so once the aspect ratio is set accordingly there we go now once the aspect ratio is clear uh from here on out you're going to start adding your logo stuff so i'm going to add obviously it's an affiliation so you can write something like affiliate over here and uh let's say i'm going to add this okay you're going to add this over here or you can add it over here on the side change the color if you want to okay you can change it to uh, a blue or something like that and once you've changed the color uh, you can also like go with a better looking one like let's go with this over here obviously it's a bit multicolored, but uh, obviously it, it works in this case then you're gonna go on text okay and uh, you can start adding different text and fonts if you want to okay so obviously go ahead choose a professional font that will you know go well in this case i'm gonna go with this font over here uh not this one down here uh choose the upper font so let's go with this yeah that looks like a decent font i'm just gonna delete this stuff and there we are so you're gonna write your name john's affiliation yeah let's call it john's affiliation and uh, you can obviously choose yeah you can make it like that increase the size of the text if you want to as so now once you do that you can obviously uh go ahead and um keep different uh colors for the text so if you choose a text as so look at that you can give it colors you know give it uh, a bit spice to its you know design and um once that is done uh you can also choose different colors for the background if you want to so i'm gonna go with the, a bit of uh yeah this shade you can make it a bit darker if you want to i'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it a bit darker as so so yeah if it's more prominent and once you're done with you know the whole logo making like once you're confident with okay yeah i'm gonna go with this i like what i've done we're gonna click on share and once you click on share you're gonna go on download and once you go on download you're gonna first choose the file type you want to download so you could go with jpeg png pdf uh, i'd say the best would be png in this case and once you've downloaded it i'm just gonna wait for it to properly download it's gonna take like a few seconds now there you are uh one time do make sure to open it and check it and once you like what you see we're gonna come here and obviously we're gonna drag and drop the file that we just created now once you have you know chosen what you see just click on select and as you can see the photo fits perfectly just go ahead and uh there you go so now your site's logo has been set now this is your main site logo and this is going to appear in your site icon then obviously you have the site icon as well and the site icon could be you know the same thing and you can just crop it ahead if you want to so as you can see uh you could just go with this over here just uh, let's say this is obviously your favicon if you don't know what a favicon is a favicon is basically what you're gonna see up here which is gonna as you can see up here in the top right so i guess in this case the best thing would be to just keep it at john's affiliation as so or you know just keep it over here so that this affiliation link shows 
and uh, once you're done with that just click on crop image and that's going to be set as your website's icon okay and obviously again that's your favicon and stuff and uh pretty pretty basic and easy stuff to work around with now once you've done that make sure to save the changes because if you don't save the changes obviously it won't save it as your website identity then we're going to go to header image again uh add new image to your header choose this uh you know whatever you've gone with there you go john's affiliation crop the image and once you've cropped the image set it accordingly and there you are so there's the logo that we just added there's the header you can obviously correspond and change them accordingly if you want to and you can like also keep the suggested logos that they give you so you can go with this header as so and just go with the one that looks much better and much more organized according to your page basically you're basically going to go with whatever looks more aesthetically pleasing with your page you're going to go with what looks more you know acceptable with your page if that makes sense now once you've chosen an uh, uh, an acceptable logo for your page from there on out what you're going to want to do is uh, just you know uh, mess around with all the setting of the further settings of your header and that doesn't only constitute you know your photos and logos and stuff that also constitutes the information you add in your header so information you add is necessary logos you add is necessary but from there on out obviously uh you're gonna go ahead and choose the positioning okay now to choose the positioning you're gonna have to mess around with the tagline and everything and uh, once you've done that obviously go ahead and uh, view it once to see if your website you know if you've actually customized it well so to view your website obviously all you're gonna do is just click on this and once you click on this as you can see that's the view and it looks decent it looks okay obviously not the best but you get the point then you're i'm gonna go back in appearance go on customize okay and let's customize it a bit more now once you're back in customize uh go on colors and background now this is obviously the color uh scheming of like the whole page okay now first of all you're going to choose the color palette for the background now the background is obviously these borders you can see in front of you so it could be, you know, obviously, as I said, go with a much warmer approach. So a warm color would be at this one. I'm going to keep it at that and I'm going to click on save changes and I'm going to back out of this. OK, then uh, there's obviously more things. You can select an image if you want for your background. That's also a thing you can add. Then you have fonts. OK, now those are like the default themes that you can add in your page. Uh, so let's say the default font right now is the default theme font, but I don't want that. I want, uh, let's say a host, I mean, sans, or let's go with a very professional looking font. Yeah, this looks professional. Let's keep it at that. And look at that. So it looks pretty good. And, uh, as I said, go with a very professional looking font, because if the font's not professional, then obviously the, the website working is not going to be much appreciated by the customers and like the other people that are accessing your page. Now this is the base font. Now the base font is the font for any other type of text. So, you know, anonymous pro, uh, I'd recommend that again, looks pretty good as you can see. Now, once you've done that, click on save changes. And once you've clicked on save changes, just back out of the, the workspace. Now, once all of this is done, uh, you also have menus, okay? Now in menus, if we go here, as you can see, you have all the different settings like uh, you can create new menus as so if you can create new menu there you go now new menus are basically your contact links up here okay and uh, they're pretty important as well because if your theme has multiple menus giving them clear names will help you manage them so again as we discussed pretty important setting to have in your page so let's call this one let's call it drop down just for an example i'm going to call this drop down now, menu locations, this could be the primary menu and the social menu. And once you do that, click on next. And once you click on next, just click on save changes. And now you have different menus. Okay. So you get the point. Uh, I'm going to back out of this. Uh, so then you also have widgets. Okay. So these are block widgets. Welcome to block widgets. Your theme provides different block areas for you to add and edit content. Try adding a search bar, social icons, or other types of blocks here and see how to look on your website so let's say i'm gonna add a block now these blocks could be you know considered as sections like if you worked with the uh, you know website editors before 
you'll know that every website editor has three different things to constitute the header the footer and the sections now the header basically is you know the head of the page which is you know all of this you can see now that's the header and that's where you're going to get you know all the navigation drop downs the links the menu your favicons your links uh your um profile picture and all that stuff so that's what you're going to get over here okay now once you've you know discussed the header then comes the sections the sections are these widgets over here okay you know it could be lists quotes could be different headings paragraphs images all that stuff so that's obviously your sections and then finally there's footers okay and the footer is let me show you if you come down here in the bottom this is the footer where you're gonna have you know all the necessary stuff like uh help contact us about uh terms of service use cases copyright and all that stuff you know that's what the footer is for footer is for stuff like if someone wants to you know know the technicalities of your website like faqs use cases terms of service all that stuff you know the things not a lot of people actually go and look out for that's what's going to be in your footer but obviously it's important to add it because every good professional website has terms of service and faq and like basically a good professional looking footer now once you've done all of that and you know set things for your footer from there on out what you're going to do is obviously add sections so let's say we're going to add a paragraph now once you do that you're just you know gonna write random things and stuff like that and once let's say you've added that okay now you're gonna make sure where you're gonna add this and to make sure where you're gonna add this you can you know add different uh, widgets to it like slashes and stuff and look at that you you have all these things as well so if we were to discuss all these first of all in like the text spaces you can add paragraphs headings list quote code you're probably wondering what code is code is basically you know your html css you know all that coding stuff uh now if you don't want to mess around with code it's totally upon you you shouldn't but do know this if you know how to use code and if like you can get yourself familiarized with it trust me you can make some great stuff out of what you have because code basically allows you to do stuff that normal website drag and drop stuff can't do you can literally make animations with code and it's pretty pretty wild stuff pretty easy stuff to work with now you also have you know uh, pre-formatted pull quote table verse writing prompt markdown ai paragraph and this is obviously the experimental form you can use this if you want to if you want to write a whole paragraph you have syntax highlighter code and then in the media section obviously you have images gallery audio cover file video video press image compare slideshow story tile gallery you have different types of designs to mess with you have different widgets that you can add or you know remove then you have themes okay now in the theme section Obviously, you have avatar, read more, comments, login, logout, term description, time to read, embeds. And in the embedded, you have, you know, you can embed links, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud. You have Spotify, Flickr, Vimeo. Uh, you have uh, stuff like Anipto, CloudUp, CrowdGoal, and all this stuff. So pretty useful stuff to have, okay? Now, once you've, you know, added all those things, you can just click on Save Changes and you know add more blocks accordingly if you want to then you have the home page settings and in the home page settings you can choose what's to display to the home page of your website again this is uh, i wouldn't actually mess around with that not a lot of important stuff going on there this is important this is additional css now additional css is cascading style sheets which allows you again it's code and if you don't know code then you can totally leave this out but if you do know code trust me this is a game changer because this will allow you to, you know, add new styles of fonts, um, colors, backgrounds, text, and all that stuff. And it's like, it's, it's a pretty fun thing to have. So, like, if you want to get behind this, trust me, you should because it's going to work wonders for you. But if you don't really want to mess around with it, you, you can, like, back out of it totally upon you. But obviously, if you want to use it, you're going to have to upgrade uh, your plan to the premium one. Okay? Now once obviously we've discussed all that let's go ahead and uh 
like let's go save everything and let's back out of this section okay now once we back out of this section you're gonna head over to you know you have uh, all this stuff over here so let's discuss this now once you're over here there's obviously a variety of things to discuss okay now from those variety of things let's go ahead and discuss the first thing that's going to be your home page okay this is your main home dashboard okay now in your main home dashboard you're going to get all these things okay so put your site in your pocket write post review view your stats etc you know all this stuff own your online identity with a custom domain when is the last time you took a risk and all this stuff they're going to recommend you stuff they're going to tell you to get the mobile app to you know have um you could say better working with uh, all this stuff now once you're obviously done with that there comes your stats page now on your stat page you can get all the analytics for your wordpress page okay now these analytics uh obviously could be you know seven day highlights you could get insights if you want to you can see your uh, number of your subscribers okay please do make sure to check out the link in the description now obviously um your subscribers could be you yourself or someone else obviously accordingly it could work like that or however you want it to work then obviously there's the seven day highlights you can get your previous visitors in the last seven days with the amount of views you got the amount of likes you got okay now this is also pretty essential important for your page because as you can see you can say when you run a big website like this you're going to need to have good analytics and to you know you can also see what page is being visited the most and everything so yeah then there's the upgrade section and in the upgrades obviously you can upgrade all uh, of the basic things that you have so first of all comes the plans okay now the plans as i said one of the first things that you can edit so once you go into the plans you can get the free plan personal premium business e-commerce enterprise okay pay annually monthly all depends on you then there's your add-ons okay now you can boost your plans with add-ons so there's obviously premium themes custom css these are you know add-ons you can get by boosting plans then there's the domain uh setting where you can get your domain as i told you you can either get a free domain that uh, wordpress gives you or you can obviously go ahead and uh, upgrade to a proper plan and use any of the other domains or better yet you can also go ahead and um, just search for a domain accordingly if you want to again pretty easy stuff pretty basic stuff then you have emails okay emails your home base for accessing setting up and managing your emails get your own domain for a custom email address upgrade to a plan now setting up your domain and pick from one of you know their flexible options to connect uh, your domain with email and start getting emails today so yeah Again, pretty basic and uh, easy stuff to mess around with. Then you have your purchases. Here you're going to get all your previous and past purchases that uh, you can mess around with if you want to. Then here's your inbox. Okay, now in your inbox, obviously pretty straightforward. You're going to get all your inbox communications. If someone contacts you, you're going to see it here. If someone emails you, if someone messages you, all of that uh, will be, you know, uh, seen directly over here and pretty easy stuff to get our head behind as you can clearly see now obviously to get your inbox working to see all your emails coming through you're going to need to again yet get the upgraded plan and uh, once you upgrade to the plan you're going to get a custom domain uh, email address and once you get that that way you're going to have uh, you know you're going to be getting inbox comments and everything now here are posts these are you know all the necessary things that uh, are going to be these are basically going to be the posts that are going to be on your website these are going to be what's going to be shown on your website basically okay now once you show this on your website you can add new posts if you want to so let's say you're obviously an affiliation so you're going to go ahead and add new posts related to that so new posts related to affiliation could be you know let's say uh, i'm going to add new test post for affiliation okay i'm gonna write that now once you write that here we have it type to choose a block okay now if you do that obviously you can get blocks of things you can add images headings galleries list quote archives audio buttons calendars you know all that stuff so once you have that uh, obviously just go ahead and add whatever you want again it could be all of these things i'm gonna go ahead and add um let's go ahead and add a heading okay so you can add a heading so uh, you can write something like um hey this is my first time 
using this feature okay you're gonna write something like that then obviously you can uh, choose the text color let's say you want to choose a text color you can choose it to that you can choose the background okay uh, you can make it into a red background same for this you can change this colors background to this same for the upper one you can change this background to something else and yeah so pretty easy stuff and then you can choose more blocks but once you've done all of this you're going to choose publish choose the page you're going to publish this on and once you publish this obviously this is going to be uh, visible on your page and to view the page you're going to just going to click on view post and once you click on view post as you can see right here you have new test post for affiliation and there's your post so as you can see pretty pretty easy stuff to get yourself behind and obviously over here once you make posts under the post you can start adding your products for affiliation like um obviously we're going to discuss the affiliation bit in a second too uh because it's pretty uh like easy to get your head around it now once you're over here okay obviously you can add posts, categorize them if you want to now comes the media section now in the media section this is obviously the place where all of the media that uh, you've uploaded to your wordpress workspace that's going to be shown over here and um yeah it's like pretty uh pretty easy pretty basic stuff to mess around with to work around with and uh, it's a pretty good thing to have uh once you're working with it and uh obviously just space any type of media you want here as you can see i have my logo and favicon uploaded over here you can also upload like let's say obviously if we're doing affiliation we're going to want to have product pictures so you can download those product pictures and once you've downloaded them you can just come ahead and paste them right over here like upload them right into this media and once you've obviously uploaded it into the media of this interface from there on out it's just easy cleanings from there okay so just upload it accordingly and uh once you know it's been properly uploaded from there on out just uh you know do your work uh as you do uh add the things into uh, a basic interface and from there on out you're pretty much good to go now once you know we've discussed about all that let's go ahead and also discuss about pages now pages is where you're gonna obviously we've discussed about adding posts and stuff we can also add new pages so let's say this page is for products okay you're gonna click on add page and once you click on add page you're gonna click on uh, let's say um, you can choose a layout okay now I'm gonna choose a layout for a shop because obviously we're gonna be doing affiliation or you could do you know a store a gallery service contact all that stuff I'm gonna go with gallery so I can show people the products I have and there we go so I'm gonna go with this this looks pretty good and uh, Organic gallery with intro text. I'm going to change this text and I'm going to change it to products. And I'm going to give it a good background. So once you're over here, uh, you could, you know, highlight it. And uh, once you've, you know, highlighted this, you can uh, go ahead and edit it accordingly if you want to. Then obviously you have all this over here and you can add the images of your choice. So obviously, let's say you're doing affiliation for the Amazon affiliate network okay and um, once you're on Amazon affiliate network uh, you're obviously gonna go and choose products from amazon.com so let's say our products are you know these gaming products and stuff so first of all we have headphones now uh, you can save the images pretty easily by clicking on open image in new tab go here save image there you go save the image come back here Click on this image, go over here, click on image. Obviously, we're going to choose our own image as so. Here we have it. You're going to click on replace. And uh, you can also place a URL if you want to. I'm just going to go on upload and download the image that I just, you know, downloaded. So, and you can increase its size to show what you're actually offering. And then accordingly, obviously, add more images just like this. Choose uh, the background color for the background of this widget if you want to go uh, with whatever suits your pages uh, you could say um, aesthetic uh, choose whatever goes with your pages uh, algorithm and stuff and after that is done uh, pretty easy and good from working there now once you've chosen this obviously you've made a page so all you're going to do is you're going to click on publish and what this is going to do is it's going to publish the page into your main website and you're going to have the products page okay and that's a great feature to have if you click on view page let me just show you what it's going to look like so as you can see you just added the products page into your home so if you go on your website's home okay we're going to come on this over here click on it 
And look at that. So this is your first page, okay? If you click on this plus sign, by clicking on this plus sign, obviously you're gonna head over to the products page. And if the products page is not visible, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go on appearance. You're gonna go on menus down here. Now, once you go in menus, obviously you're gonna add a products page to your menu. Uh, so, so just click on that, click on add to menu. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add the products page to your menu, and then you're just gonna click on save menu. And from there on out, the products page is gonna be added, and let me show you how it's gonna look now. So here you have it. And once you have it here, you're gonna make sure that the theme of your page has menus enabled in it. So again, make sure to go back in appearance. Over here also, you can mess around with the header images, etc. if you want to. As you can see, you have headers and everything. So you can mess around with that, but I'm gonna come back to menu. And um, there we have it. We have the menu name, which is drop down. And in the drop down menu, obviously you can add these options as so. Now you can add more items to it if you want to. Again, pretty easy to do that. Now, as you can see, this is currently set to primary menu and uh, you can change what the original of the label and stuff is and you can add more items if you want to but uh, i'm just gonna you know not mess with that right now i'm gonna keep it like that i'm gonna back out and once you back out go back to your dashboard so we can you know discuss more um insight about our page now once you're over here obviously as i said you're gonna be an affiliate for amazon like as an example so First of all, let's go ahead and discuss what this affiliation will do for us. Like, what is affiliation? First of all, let's go ahead and quickly discuss that. I'm going to assume you do know it because, like, if you're watching this video, you probably do know what affiliation is. But if you don't, let me just give you, you know, a quick description. So basically, an affiliation program is uh, when you basically... An affiliation program could be among many things. It could be an Amazon affiliation program. There's many other affiliation programs as well, like uh, the affiliate networks.com and all that stuff. So the most popular in those could be considered Amazon because Amazon, you know, great company, huge company and um, a lot of workers in it. So it would make sense why Amazon has one of the most widely used uh, affiliate programs. Now, to discuss Amazon's affiliate program in depth, uh, what happens is you're going to write Amazon affiliate program or Amazon affiliation on Google. And once you write that, like, let me just show you, you know what, you're going to come here, you're going to write Amazon affiliate network or affiliate program, you know, just write anything like that. And once you write that, it's going to say amazon.com associate central. It's called associate central, but it's an affiliate program, as you can see. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to it and you're going to basically, you know, do all the steps they're telling you to do. So if you go here, okay, recommend products and earn commissions. So as you can see, it's a three step uh, process. And it, this process is for all affiliation programs out there. So sign up, join tens of thousands of creators, publishers, and bloggers who are earning with the Amazon Associates program. Number two step is recommend. You can share millions of products with your audience. We have customized linking tools for large publishers, individual bloggers, and social media influencers. And then finally, there's a third step, which is earn. You can earn up to 10% in associate commissions from qualifying purchases and programs. Our competitive conversion rates help maximize earnings. Now, let's discuss what this means. So basically, you're going to sign up with your program as so, like you're going to go up here and uh, you know they're gonna say sign up you're gonna go in and sign up now they're gonna ask you you know some verifications because it's pretty like there's a lot of scammers on um, the amazon associate central because you know wherever there's a money making scheme there are scammers over there so you're gonna be aware of that and you're gonna verify yourself now once you verify yourself properly okay from there on out what's gonna happen is that you're obviously gonna you're obviously gonna want to start choosing your niche now, your niche is basically the category of products that you like the line of products that you want to choose from the line of products that you're going to work with. OK, now, once you've chosen the line of products you're going to work with from there on out, what you're going to do is you're basically going to um, go ahead and see if those products are actually, you know, in if those products are actually trendy and you can, you know, check that by going on Google Trends and stuff and, you know, just search if the, the item is trending nowadays. If the item is trending, you can choose it as your niche and from there on out, start recommending it. Now, how does that work? Basically, you're going to go on the product 
and you're gonna you know ask amazon for a product key now what that product key is that they're gonna give you a designated link which will only belong to you okay now that link will have uh, you could say um a, a designated product key and that designated product key will uh, you could say allow you to basically send it out to people it's a link you're going to send it out to people and if someone clicks on that link they're going to be redirected to the niche product that you chose and if like it's an if case if they buy that product by clicking on your link basically what's going to happen is amazon's going to know that it's your product key that was used to buy that link and what's going to happen from there on out is you're going to make commission off of it now let's say if the product was for a thousand dollars okay let's just say as an example product was for a thousand dollars and you recommended it as it says you can earn up to 10 percent in associate commissions so 10 percent of a thousand dollars is a hundred dollars now imagine you're just sitting at your home okay you're sitting at your home and you've just created your website on your laptop using wordpress in the easiest way possible you know, have a proper domain and stuff. And once you've done that, you're just, you know, promoting the link. You're just marketing the link. And just by sitting in your, you know, maybe bed or desktop or table and just sitting in the warmth of your own home, you have made a hundred dollars. Just think about that. Just think that you're sitting in your home in your warmth in you know, your cozy room and your cozy surrounding and you've made a hundred dollars by just sitting there. How cool is that? How amazing is that? So, Obviously, a lot of people have been doing this and you're going to do this as well because, c come on, I've shown you the greatest way to, you know, make yourself a uh, website. Now, again, go ahead, make yourself a good logo for your website. Um, as I showed you, 480 pixel, that's for your header and make a, a favicon logo by going with these dimensions, preferably 720 by 720. That's a square dimension, works pretty well. Then obviously, uh, you have uh, tons of other things to optimize and work with as well. Okay. Now, obviously, once you've added your products, now this is where it gets tricky. Okay. To allow yourself to, you know, get money off of those products, what you're going to do is you're going to have WooCommerce. Okay. Now, WooCommerce is basically the add on on WordPress that allows you to, you know, process money here and there. It's it's like uh, your very own WordPress PayPal. And what this does is uh, it unlocks the tools, as it says, needed to manage products, orders, shippings, and more. So basically the transference of money, the export and import of products and all that. So that's what WooCommerce does for you. And it's pretty essential to making money. Like if you don't have WooCommerce, you won't have a proper store. Then it will just be a, a website. It, it would be a blog more. Yeah, more of a blog or an article. It wouldn't be a store. So obviously, again, for a store, you're going to need WooCommerce. And then obviously there's additional things that you can mess around with as well. So let's say you've created a store for yourself. Now, once the store is created, Obviously, you have all the appearances where you can customize the widgets, header, background menus, additional CSS and all that stuff. Now, let's ignore that. Let's head on to plugins. OK, now, what do plugins do? Plugins have, you know, all this premium stuff going on. Now, obviously, most plugins are also not free. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure to um, install plugins, you're going to need to get at least a business plan. So we make sure to have that before getting the plugins. But once you you know got the plugins plugins are basically pretty like you could say they just make your life easier you know like they're in a way integrations so let's say i get a plugin for elementor now if you don't know what elementor is elementor is basically a premium website builder where like as you saw we just you know customized a website using wordpress's own website builder now obviously as you saw it's an okay website builder with, you know, decent drag and drop editor stuff, you know, all that going on. But obviously, it's not the best. Clearly, it's not the best. Elementor, on the other hand, allows you to get all the necessary features that you need to build a good website. As you can see in the description, it says Elementor Website Builder has it all. Drag and drop page builder, pixel perfect design, mobile responsive editing and more get started now so you can basically just go ahead click on it 
And once you click on it, obviously make sure it's upgraded and activated. But once you've done with that, from there on out, it's free to add this plugin. And once you do, it's so amazing. I have used this, it's pixel perfect, and it just works amazingly for you. So I'd recommend using uh, plugins for yourself because they just work great. Now, you're gonna head on to users. Now, what are users? You can invite subscribers and team members to your site and manage their access settings. So basically, uh, let's say you want to manage a website, but you don't want to manage it alone. You want to manage it with multiple users. Then this setting is for you because um, this setting allows you to have multiple users at a website. And uh, in like retrospect, what's going to happen is once you have added multiple users to your website for yourself, from there on out, they can uh, you can start giving them permissions if you want to so let's say uh like if this person's the admin like obviously this is our account so we're the admin right now and we can add a team member for ourselves so let's say i'm gonna add another spam account of myself and once you do that i'm gonna send this uh account of mine an invitation now once the invitation is sent as you can see invite sent successfully i'm just gonna go and show you how the email is actually gonna look on the other end to the person who you send it to. So as you can see over here, uh, we're gonna accept the invitation. And once the invitation is accepted, as you can see, uh, just go ahead, make sure, uh, you're also gonna make sure that the person that you know logs in, the person who chooses the invite, is a, like, uses WordPress, has a proper WordPress account. Now, once the WordPress account is logged in, as you can see, you can choose them at an editor. Now, you can give them uh, privileges as well. Like, first of all, you can revoke their invite, and then you can give them privileges. Like, let's say you want to switch them from the editor to, you know, uh, you could say, not the admin, because I, like, preferably keep the, always keep the admin privileges to yourself. Just give the next person privileges to edit and stuff because that just would be better. Now, moving on to tools. These are the marketing tools. And this is basically what you're gonna use to, you could say, be an ambassador for your page, for your website. So as you can see, you can first of all, give out ads, okay? And once you give out ads, obviously it could be uh, marketing through email, it could be marketing through Facebook, Fiverr, WordPress, Canva, you know, all these great applications that you have in the back end. Then obviously you can uh, control the traffic. You can see where the traffic is, uh, you know, mostly being visited, where the traffic actually is coming from. Then you can also mess around with the connections, sharing buttons, business tools, all that stuff, okay? All what goes on. So again, pretty great things to work with, pretty useful tools to mess around with, and uh, it's a pretty easy thing to have uh, with yourself. Now. Obviously, those are the marketing tools. You can also see the earning tools, okay? Now, the earning tools basically allow you to start earning money now. Now, obviously, these are uh, monetization methods. Now, obviously, one method that affiliate marketing uh, has of making money is obviously the commission system, okay? The commission system is, like, the best system there is out there because, like, as I said, imagine just selling an item and making 10% commission off of it just by sitting in the warmth of your home. But the other methods that you can use to, you know, create money is, uh, you know, these methods like uh, monetization, collecting payments, profit from subscriber only content, uh, send paid email letters and all that stuff, you know, pretty basic stuff. And yeah, so basically once you've discussed all that, that's pretty much all there is to, you know, creating a website on WordPress. Now, as you saw, we created a WordPress website and like, a matter of seconds and if you like want some more technical support you can always hire a person off of fiverr to create your website again pretty basic and easy stuff and um you should like have this stuff noted at the back of your mind you know pretty easy to get along with now uh that's basically about it i'm just gonna discuss the wordpress pricings once again because uh, obviously the most important things are like the domain and pricings because without those you're not going to be able to, you know, have a uh, proper, you know, pricing and stuff. So WordPress price and like if you go and compare their plans again, first of all, get a good domain, get it off of hosting or Bluehost, GoDaddy, you know, whatever you want, like just get a good domain. I'd recommend hosting her because that would essentially work best, but you can use whatever you want. But 
once you've discussed that obviously there's the pricings now in the pricings these discrete six discrete pricings uh if you want a proper affiliation page and you know uh, send money receive money then at least the business plan because obviously it's the best for developers and if you want to you know add plugins woocommerce then again at least the business plan but if you just want a normal website that you're going to lead people from your website to another website then just you know go with a premium and uh, once you know you've understood this get a good plan and from there on out you're going to be good to go and you're going to you know create a great affiliate marketing website for yourself but yeah, that's, I guess that's basically about it for this video. Now, once we're done with, you know, all our work, all you're going to do, as I stated in the start of the video, write website worldmedia.com slash Shopify. Just go ahead, write WordPress, and you're going to be redirected to the WordPress website and just sign in from there and start doing your work. And again, please do make sure to check out the link in the description. Now, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, until then, I hope you all keep having a great and wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video till the end. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.